Namaste, blessings and greetings, my angels. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Sacred Sagittarius Angels Answers All. I'm Tigre, your humble host, your long-standing, one of your first original Sagittarius-only channels here on YouTube. I'm so happy that now there are many other channels dedicated to Sagittarius, but I really am very proud that I'm one of the ones that um, really honed in on this to give our community a place to come to and to grow and to be seen. So thank you for those of you who've been with me throughout the years and thank you for those of you who continue to grow with me in this light. We are in the beautiful energy of our month of November. Though it's not our season yet, it is Scorpio season. Happy birthday, Scorpios. I am still excited of the joy of what the month of November brings, especially as it gets closer towards the end of November, wherein our season begins, and especially for those of you who are, are, are the early Sagittarius born in the month of November. And no, we won't forget <laughs> our December Sagittarius as well. Just a little reminder that when it is our birthday season towards the end of the month, as time permits and as you encourage me with your increasing likes, comments, and subscribers and cross-watchers viewership, I will try my best to do daily content and to really engage with you as I always try to do during our birthday season. Don't forget, you can get a shout out. Just put your, your name or your channel name should show up. All I need is your day and the day in the month, whether it's December or November, I don't need the year. And I will definitely try to give you a shout out, if not on your birthday, at least during that week. Well, it is the month of November. You know I alter my decks. I change my prayer space or my viewing space for you um, as we go each month. So now with the energies of November, let's tap into it first by getting some positive affirmations into our lives, speaking positivity into our lives. And you don't need to buy an affirmation deck. These affirmations you just make from your soul and your spirit and your heart. Just as simple as saying, I'm going to have a great day today. I'm not going to let anyone steal my joy. I am manifesting at my highest potential. I believe in my destiny. I trust God. I know who I am. I am fearless. I am beautiful. I am strong. Just simple three-letter words like that that you use and you say and you believe and you affirm to can keep your energy vibrant, can keep you jolly, can keep you at peace, can remind you to de-escalate the toxic things that might be around your aura or in your area. A lot of drama that comes into our life isn't drama that we've created. It's the outside noise and confusion. So what a great way to keep that at bay and to keep you focused and in a very sound spiritual state by saying positive, loving affirmations to yourself throughout the day. If you have any to suggest for this month of November, and especially during our birthday season, by all means, please comment below and put a few down so that we can share. And I'll even air them on the channel and recite them so we can empower and affirm our love for being a Sagittarius and just our love of being a positive person. So the first card that we get... And I think I've got it to five to start us out for the month of November. What has been, has been. What will be, will be. What has been, has been. And what will be, will be. That's not casting your worries on what has already transpired. We know we can't change or alter the past. We just have to accept it and go with the flow. And just as though we put in our requests or our petitions to the universe. For things that we desire in our present and towards our future, we still have to be compassionate and deal with the reality that what will be will be. What is meant for us will be for us and what is not meant for us will not come into existence. So I love this. What has been has been and what will be will be. The other affirmation we get for the start is I allow myself to receive. I allow myself to receive. What a beautiful affirmation to say because there's plenty of times in life when we don't allow ourselves to receive. We block ourselves from receiving happiness. We block ourselves or we deny ourselves from getting or receiving love. We don't allow ourselves to live in the moment of life because we're stuck in the past or we're so filled with anxiety about the future. 
So allow yourself to receive. And this could be a great affirmation to say when you're in a particular position or in a situation in your life where someone is offering you maybe their cup of love or, you know, they're coming to you to be forgiven or something or they're offering you an opportunity or they're extending a helping hand. And sometimes, again, being the independent and strong spirits that we are an individual, sometimes we feel like, no, we don't want your help or we question your help because we don't know if we can trust it or what your alternative motives are. This affirmation can say to you and make you feel, yes, I can allow myself to receive. Not everyone that wants to help me is out to hurt me. So I definitely love that. We also get, I will message today by how fully present I am. I will measure today by how fully present I am. This is a twofold exercise in addition to being an affirmation. Because you're saying, I will measure today by how fully present I am. One, you're measuring. You're keeping track of the time. Even though you are enjoying life, you're keeping track of what you're doing opposed to what you're not doing. You're prioritizing, and that's so important. We waste so many hours of the day not doing the things that we enjoy or not being with the people that we love. So it makes us think of putting quality time into the things that matter the most. And being fully present. Again, not thinking and living and crying over the past and not being dreamy or starry night over the future, but actually loving the moment that you're in, actually listening to the person who's talking to you, actually feeling their love, touching the sand, feeling the breeze upon your hair, and just being in that moment, not thinking about time, not thinking about going to work tomorrow or what bills you have coming up, just living in the present moment. So I will measure today by how fully present I am. The last and final affirmation to start out the month of November is, I always, I am always co-creating with the universe. I am always co-creating with the universe. So yes, we do know that there are things that we have no control over, but when we partner with the universe, in which a lot of times that's what the universe wants us to do. Some things don't move at a certain speed or don't happen or occur in our life or we miss opportunities or we don't see them or project towards them because either we feel we can do it all by ourselves or we're not listening and seeing the signs or following the direction in which the universe is trying to help us create in. But when you co-create with the universe, you're kind of going along with the flow and you're saying, yes, universe, I trust you. I know what you have for me and what you're putting me into or towards is the best for me. So always co-create with the universe. Don't go against what the universe has for you because the universe has what's best for you. I love these affirmations. I hope you can come up with others for the month of November and especially as we get towards our birthday season. And remember, don't just use them today or tomorrow. Use affirmations every day, all day during your life. God bless you. Namaste.